Wang made those comments, the CEO of NVIDIA, of course, and, and that uh, quantum computing uh, at scale will probably not be useful for about 20 years. Do you agree, disagree? And, and what about, uh, uh, you, you, I understand you think that smaller uh, uh, type of uh, quantum problems and data problems can be, uh, are closer than we think. Yeah, if you watch the clip of, of the talk or read the transcript, um, what he is, you know, you have to parse his words very carefully. I mean, it's very much like kind of reading between the lines of, a, of what a politician says. And what he, what he says, and it is accurate, is that quantum computing today is really geared towards a very specific, solving a very specific type of problem, such as a very complex math problem. So Google had this Willow announcement in December where they bragged about the fact that their Willow chip uh, was able to solve this complex math problem in five minutes that would have taken, you know, t today's classical computing supercomputers, you know, more than the history of, of, of the earth uh, to solve. And so that's a very specific problem. And th that, those are the kinds of problems which we can, can be solved today. That's a very interesting type of problem. For example, if you're wanting to solve, uh, you know, a complex uh, a cryptographic algorithm like SHA-256, which is what protects Bitcoin and all crypto wallets today. It's also pretty interesting in terms of cracking into and solving like RSA level security. But then what, what Jensen went on to say in the comments yesterday is that you know, quantum computing still has a ways to go in terms of solving other big data, you know, large multi-feature and multivariate kind of um, um, problems. The way that his GPU approach with Blackwell and Rubin, you know, are better at solving today. And I think what he said uh, was that it's still going to be, you know, he said 15, 20, 30 years potentially until quantum computing's quantum computing can solve those kinds of problems. Obviously, that, you know, he's sort of speaking in his own self-interest. That would be great for NVIDIA if they had a 30-year kind of runway uh, before they're kind of disrupted by quantum computers. Um, we'll see if that happens. I really don't think it's going to be anywhere close to 15 years. Um, however, uh, the way things are moving, you know, Willow Chip sort of came out of the blue. You know, it's probably going to be a lot closer than that. But even if quantum just solves those very small, um, you know, uh, math-oriented data problems, that will have profound impacts on the rest of the world.